Welcome to Stage 5 of the 2014 Tour of Qinghai Lake, where on Thursday a new leader emerged following another sprint stage as the riders rode away from Qinghai Lake. The peloton continued to battle the altitude and chaotic racing. Here in China, we had a chance to catch up with German Robert Forster, who talked about his struggles with the United Healthcare team and what they're doing to adjust to the racing here. And here's a little bit different. So they, everybody tried to jump also the second and third in GC. Normally, nobody does this. So it's a pure racing here and it's hard to control. So yesterday. Stage 5 was another long day for the riders at 203 kilometers as they rode away from the race's namesake lake after riding around it yesterday. The race began with a beyond category climb, cresting just 8 kilometers into the stage where the first KOM points of the day would be awarded. As the riders came down off of that climb, they would hit their first green jersey sprint of the day before going back uphill for the second and final KOM falling at 130 kilometers. After that KOM, the riders would make their way on a long descent into the flat finish in the county of Guida. As the riders left the starting line in the shadow of Qinghai Lake, the road would turn uphill immediately, with the first attacks of the day coming shortly. It was Amir Kaladazog of the TPT cycling team first to make the move, eventually joined by the RTS Santic rider Mario Alberto Rojas. Those riders would come to the summit together, but it was Kaladazog picking up maximum points with Rojas trailing. The group of two quickly became a group of eight on the descent as six more riders joined, forcing Astana to take up chase at the front for their sprinter, Ilya Davignac. They would eventually bring that gap to those eight riders down, heading into the first and only green jersey sprint of the day as it was Davignac taking second for the Astana team, but Vitaly Boots of the Coal Cycling team was the winner in that sprint with Mikhailo Kononenko, also of the Coal Cycling team, in third. With the sprinter's jobs done for the day until the finish, they would settle into the peloton as a pair of teammates from the 5-Hour Energy presented by Kenda team found themselves alone off the front heading towards the second and final KOM of the day. They would be reeled in just 8K from the finish as Rojas, second on the first KOM, had a great ride on the climb to take maximum points at the summit. As a select group of 20 riders rolled away on the long descent to the finish, an unfortunate puncture for race leader Alexander Polovoda would cause him to miss the winning move. Three riders who had eventually become the podium attacked out of that group of 20 to stay away to the line. It was the Frenchman Thomas Vabozo of the La Palme Marseille team taking the sprint out of the group of three with Juan Jose Ugalda of the Burgos BH team finding second and Ilya Davignac, the new race leader from Team Astana, on the podium in third. Davignac was elated to take the first yellow jersey of his career. And uh, uh, I, uh, I ready for this race, uh, special for big altitude in Kazakhstan and uh, uh, when I fly here, I think what for me good only only yellow, only winners this race, and uh, now my dream start today. <laughs> so Thomas Babazo finally gets the stage win for La Palme Marseille here on stage five, as Ilya Davignac remains in the blue jersey as the top Asian rider. Gondor Mizbani of the TPT cycling team successfully defended his polka dot jersey lead as once again Davignac would be in the green jersey as the sprint leader as well as the yellow jersey as the new overall race leader here at the Tour of Qinghai Lake. Davignac moved into a comfortable 30-second lead heading into stage 6 tomorrow over Thomas Vabazo.